that you can help get us over. Okay. Hey, those things are real. Okay, but there are, if there are craft, there are beings. Um, okay, people have asked me uh, about, I call them vehicles, okay? Right. No, I did not call them objects. That was too neuter for me. Okay. Um, I had a Stanford professor say, you ought to call them objects, no, no, no. They have all of the qualities of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. They can move, you know, they're just like a missile or anything like that. So that much we can say about them, for sure. Okay. So I'm calling them a vehicle. Okay. Okay, somebody comes along and says, well now where would you manufacture one that's two and a half earthlings long? And um, that's a hard question to answer. However, if you think of it in terms of its a uh, living entity, it's, a, it's just another kind of thing that we've got in our universe. And it can grow and grow and grow and grow. Okay, uh, so... So it can be an MVE and it can self have life. Uh -huh. So are you not positing the idea that they, those vehicles contain, you know, beings who are, you know, maybe like us? Yeah, I only go along with environment images. And if you want to know about people kind of thing. Um, there is the ship that picked up the Voyager uh, capsule um, at the uh, Alameda uh, Naval Shipyard. And they, they have a picture there of um, I think, I think it's uh, the Apollo flight that uh, Bugs and, uh, and Neil were on. Uh, but anyway, there is one image there that shows black people getting off. So people with dark skin getting off? Not dark, black. Black skin? Really black, yeah. Were they tall? Yes. Very tall? Yeah. How tall? Do you know? Well, they got up the, uh, the doorway. I don't know how high that is, but... Well, what... Say, uh, say seven, seven feet would be probably a conservative estimate. Um, have you heard about Clark McClellan's uh, statement about that? No. Oh, you haven't? 